good afternoon and welcome to what we can call a, an ever-expanding Galway Technology Centre. Aware of Cotter uh, Nagalyeva Clodagh Higgins, Thishak Michael Martin, Cahirla Corla Kunda Nagalyeva, Michael Mogi Mar, uh, Ara Hildegard, uh, Chakta Dali, Shana Dori, Corla Ori, Kunda Nagalyeva, August Cotter Nagalyeva, Uthron ATU, Dr. Orla Flynn, Aguini Ushla, Agus Accorda Galair. Is Mr. Kuni O'Gueri, Prevaimana, come and track to the Nagalyeva, Agus Cahirlock, and Technolioc to Nagalyeva. Boitlam Falcha, a report got dinner, Guji on Okaj, Agus on Och, Ian Thuck Show. It is with an abundance of pride that I stand before you this afternoon. Today, Thishuk, we celebrate and we acknowledge. We acknowledge our members, our colleagues, the employers, the innovators, the teams, the doers, the visionaries, and the volunteers who have been in the ether of this project, this social enterprise, this engine of activity for almost three decades. Joe Smith talked earlier, Taoiseach and Genesis, Genesis, about being surrounded by a coalition of the willing. The same is certain here. It's fair to say that Galway is the economic driver of the West. I welcome your comments, Taoiseach, in respect of our performance and contribution in Galway and the acceptance that for the region to be strong, we as a city need to be performing at full capacity. I also welcome your comments earlier in the morning where you talked about recalibrating economic development to the regions. That is something of huge importance to the Chambers Ireland movement across the country and to each and every person in this room. John will soon talk about what will be in this physical structure, I'm sure many of you are, are curious, in the expanding of GTC and indeed how it has been funded. And we love Carl's commitment that she's here for the long journey as well. There's definitely no such thing as a free lunch, Carl. Uh, however, I want to discuss the regional ambitions that we have in terms of job creation, levelling up the ecosystem in collaboration with many regional partners, many of whom are represented here today. In addition to the capital project, this most recent allocation from Enterprise Ireland focuses on the creation of roles that can and will positively impact scaling companies across the region. In essence, bringing GTC on tour, curating events across Mayo, Roscommon and County Galway, as well as in the city. This objective sits well with balancing the region and trying to enable the stimulation of the creation of these jobs that we're talking about in our city, but also in our towns and across the periphery. We're very ambitious for what can be achieved. Noreen Conway and Brian Muldoon have been appointed to roles specifically created focusing on these ambitions, and they will work under the leadership of Ali Daniels as CEO, my fellow board members, supported by the team present of Tomas, Sheila, and more recently Sarah. I spoke on Galway Bay FM this morning, echoing what our Mayor, Cloda, spoke to in her words, the origins of GTC and in particular, the legacy left by some amazing volunteer board members whom have served unstintingly over the years under the guidance and leadership of four chairpersons before I. Joe Higgins, Sean Kinsella, Peter Allen, and most recently Frank Green, who served as chair for over a decade. Frank served through some very difficult times coming out of the last recession. Were it not for Frank's leadership and the support he received at board level, we may not have the same outcome today as we have here. In particular, I talk of retired board members in recent years, Carmel Brennan, Dr. Rick Officer, David Nyland, Michael Campion, Eugene McCartan, Pat O'Grady, Rita Fox, Mary Murphy as company secretary, all of whom worked very closely with Neve Costello, who served as general manager for some seven years. So I believe they all deserve a bula boss. In my closing comments, I would like to say we excitedly look to the future, to working closely with local authorities across the four local authority areas, both universities, the University of Galway and the Atlantic Technological University, and Orla, I smiled, you now know lunch the next time on Taoiseach's in town, and there may be commitments as well out of it in your fine dining room. Um, state agencies, enterprise development agencies, specifically the local enterprise offices, and I see Breda Fox here, and I'm sure colleagues from across the region are present as well, who provide a phenomenal and incisive support to businesses at those early stages where others won't. Enterprise Ireland, Udras Nageltukta, the WDC, our friends in Portershed, the IHUB, BioInnovate, Crew, Skull, and so on, delivering on the ambitions committed that we have committed to government. 
it's interesting when you list all of those to think that we have all of those organizations being led by fantastic people and volunteer boards in our region is, is a significant testament to what has been achieved. And I was saying earlier, Leo Clancy spoke a few weeks ago when he was in Galway, and he talked about what is unique in Galway is that irrespective of your competitors or you're working together, when there's an event like today, or indeed many private companies having their events, Galway supports Galway. And what we want to do is get that ethos right across the region, and that's part of our ambition. I want to just acknowledge the boards, again, of both Galway, um, Galway Chamber and Westwick in terms of their humongous contribution over the years to this project. It has been significant. On behalf of my colleagues on the board of GTC, JP Gilmartin, Caroline Cawley, Inda McGuan, and John Brennan, who you'll hear from now, I want to say Goramahik of Galair. We truly appreciate the presence and commitment of you all here, not just on Taoiseach, but indeed everyone who has come across the region and made time on a Friday afternoon. I'd also like to thank the gods because a significant investment was made in umbrellas earlier this week, so there could be one for everyone in the audience going out the door, but the sun has shone, which of course makes such a difference. We look forward excitedly to the months and the years ahead. So, Ban Patnaf Asan Law, Guramayag of Galer.